Welcome back guys, Crypto for Light channel. Today we would like to talk about ICP and Bitcoin. Let's dive in. First of all, let's start with Bitcoin. And now, like you know, the majority waiting the Bitcoin ETF uh, approves uh, around 10 or 15 January. And yes, maybe it's going to be the uh, a real e event for sale something like this one i would like to show you the targets how high we can uh, move up and why why with what plan uh, the majority can be wrecked both camps uh, and i already explained to you this scenario when we see uh, this pre-halving mode uh, so now everyone waiting the drop the correction around uh, 13 or 30 percent down or even 50 percent down but people compare for example um zone 20 uh the covid dump you know the scenarios it's not a necessary so we have to repeat this scenario uh, that's why uh, i would like to see personally i would like to see that new all-time high this year and in this case uh, maybe maybe the bitcoin edf will be not that um, sell news you know because uh, now that everyone price it so when we will see the Bitcoin ETF approves, we have to drop because the major players have to sell off, you know. But what if not? And in this case, even the people who bearish and even the people who bullish now are going to be wrecked because the bulls are going to fix the profit here and the bears open short. And it's going to be the catalyst to push the price higher to new all-time high. And in this area, the bearish people and the bullish people jumping back into Bitcoin. And when we go into, for example, to 81K, I'm not telling you we go into uh, like in one candle like this one, like uh, this fractals um, about gold. When uh, they approved the EDF for gold, you know, we saw this something like this one, the parabolic move. No, it's more than healthy if we will see the uh, 0 0.18 level by FIP, 81K, new all time high. And after that, drop it down to test this high. In Zone 22, I mark it at this area when we trade it here. I mark it. The first step is going to be uh, 36 level, then 48. And I remind you that S&P 500 already here. And NASDAQ already here. And the gold already here. We got this monthly block. This is a monthly fair value gap around 0.23 level by FIB by this global uptrend FIB. So this is a COVID dump, March it's Binance Futures, March 2020, top correction exactly to 78 level by FIB, here, till the penny. Drop it down, close 50% of this monthly gap and bounce. Bounce exactly to 61, now 38, now the level can be 23. Next stage is this block, 27 zone, bullish block and 61 level by FIB. If we take a look on... Uh, Bitcoin spot uh, downtrend. It's on a beat stamp. So this was a top. This is a correction to zero level, bounce, sweep liquidity, and drop it down to 27 zone. From 27 zone, now we trade around 0 0.5 level by FIB. It's more than real to see this block, then correction down to 23. So it will be also more than okay to see this drop. So you have to be ready for this scenario. Now we're just awaiting the news. For ICP, absolutely everything still relevant. We'll leave here the weekly gap. So let's mark it like a weekly gap. And uh, yes, this block can be like a now support, support block for uh, ICP. It's hard to say, are we going to this block after this move or we can draw based on uh, EDF uh, news. So yes, basically we are pumped. Really, really good. So everyone who accumulated in this area, you know, at uh, $3, now 400% in profit. And here, over than 700% in profit will be these guys who accumulated in this block at 24. Then next step, 1,200% gains at 37. 37 block. It's all liquidity pools. One, two, and the next one. This one. It's a main target for Zone 25, Zone 24, Zone 25. From the lowest point, it can be around 3,000% gains. Yes, it's more than real to see $87 uh, dollar per ICP. Now, it's only up to you. If you miss this uh, right, all this accumulation zone, you know, it's only up to you to buy ICP now 
or wait the correction because maybe we'll not see the correction to this block again this year yes we can come back to this block later after mm, this cycle so it's not necessary so we have to always come back and close every single gap take a look on uh, downtrend so for example we got a uh, this uh, listing on opponents we drop it down in the uh, made zone with one and we didn't come back and bounce this uh, monthly uh, block no we collapse it down to this area from a free fall from uh, 250 for example 227 bounce leave the liquidity pool and not sweep the liquidity pool then we drop it down and maybe only in zone 24 imagine after three years we can come back and sweep this liquidity pool, this liquidity pool, and this one. Because if we use the inverse scale here, this chart not uh, looks uh, so bearish because we leave the gaps. So just always inverse uh, the chart on a high time frame and find out the solution. So this chart looks bearish or, or bullish for you. We can't move only down forever. And we don't have to always come back and close every single gap immediately. You know, we can pump in just to this target like a Sol. On a Solana, we saw it something like this one, sideways and continuation. So we usually got the impulse, sideways, impulse, five waves. One, correction, two, second, longer, three, four, and five. So maybe, yes, going to be... Uh, the highest point for ICP around 200 and yes you have to be realistic with your price targets if we take a look on indicator set you can find out here it was a signal to buy on a monster time frame imagine so we uh, not on so many coins uh, sold the signal to buy on a monthly and we just start climbing up on direction on a monthly no um, crazy a free uh, zone and the main message what i would like to tell you so imagine you accumulate coin a uh, long time period over than one year or than one and a half year and now uh, the big mistake can be if you want to chase some local uh, 20 25 percent uh, profit but for example if we'll see something like this one you want to sell it here and catch this correction take a profit and buy them back but what if you accumulate uh, one and a half year of the coin and the price move like this one you sell it we go in a sideways and continuation and you jump in back here in this uh, price but you will see that um, 50 percent less coins in your portfolio just because you chase some local uh, 15 or 10 percent uh, profit so that's a big difference between the local trades you know and investments if uh, your main uh, goal was uh, just uh, buying here sell it take a profit forgot this coin it's more than okay after 400 percent pump but if you uh look at the longer term frame you know no makes sense to fix the profit now yes of course we have a chance because on a weekly time frame we way over than uh exit line but we can see something like this one then correction or these lines can start move parabolic higher you can see no signal on direction even on the weekly that's why i would like to add alert to weekly time frame uh direction when we'll see the bearish signal if we take a look on uh market mode and money power we can find out based on market mode we are just start came into uh, a free zone but you can compare the highest point on a free uh, here in the made zone with one and current price and yes the whales fix some profit in this area so we got a signal to buy at three dollar so they fix some profit at 11 and fix some profit here now after three weeks we don't see that new signal to take profit monster time frame no fixation one two touches at the bottom december it's on 22 september it's on 23 no signal to sell so personally i will wait and i don't want to chase uh, some just local uh trades i want to see this price target this price target 
maybe in a most positive scenario i would like to see that 180 or 200 per icp so guys i hope you like this video write please in the comment what do you think about this current situation on a market on a bitcoin are we going higher will we see the new all-time high for bitcoin this year or not and what is your price target for 2024 and what is your price target for icp for 2024 thank you for watching subscribe channel hit like button the notification button don't forget to join my telegram channel see you next time guys